Dear viewers, welcome to Northside Satellite Channel in Tel Mir TV. Let's begin with the headlines. Pope Francis, making peace is the most beautiful thing in life. Cardinal Pizzabella, the situation in the Holy Land and Gaza is tragic due to the wars. The Papal Mission in Jordan celebrates the 75th anniversary of its establishment. The Catholic Church celebrates the Feast of St. Elias in Ajlon, Governorate. Welcome back. Pope Francis visited the summer camp for children at the Vatican and spoke with the young participants about the value of family, parents, and relationships with the grandparents. He encouraged the children during the meeting to work towards peace, emphasizing that making peace is the most beautiful thing in life. The Holy Father also answered the questions and observations of the children, which were based on their experiences with meditation and other activities they have undertaken at the camp so far. Following the dialogue with the children, there was a moment of prayer, after which they released balloons calling for peace around the world. The Holy Father concluded his visit to the summer camp by thanking the children for their joy and expressing his gratitude to all those involved in organizing the initiative. Cardinal Pizzabella received a delegation from the Aid to the Church in Need organization, which visited the Holy Land to express solidarity with the local Christian communities and assist the Church in the region. The Cardinal assured the visiting delegation that the Patriarchate is doing everything possible to support the Christian community in Gaza, noting that schools have been destroyed, some turned into shelters, and children have lost an academic year. He added that the Patriarchate is working to provide a place for children to learn and to find teachers for them. Cardinal Pizzabella further stated that the situation in the West Bank is tragic due to the ongoing wars, as most Christians there rely on tourism and have lost jobs opportunities due to the absence of pilgrims. The Cardinal expressed his gratitude to aid to the Christian in need for the support provided to the Church in the Holy Land, helping it to survive and continue its pastoral activities despite the emergency conditions. His Excellency Bishop Giovanni Pietro del Tasso, the Papal Nuncio to the Hashemite Royal Court, presided over the Divine Liturgy held at the Church of the Nazarene Virgin in Sofia to mark the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the Papal Mission in Jordan. The celebration was attended by Monsignor Peter Vacari, the head of the Papal Mission worldwide, Father Jihad Shwehad, the acting patriarchal vicar for Latins in Jordan, as well as a number of priests, deacons, and nuns. Also present was Mr. Ra'id al-Bahu, the Director General of the Papal Mission in Jordan, official and public figures, and a gathering of the faithful. The liturgy was enriched by the choirs of the Church of the Nazarene Virgin and the English-speaking community, performing hymns in both Arabic and English. On this occasion, the Vatican Ambassador, Bishop Giovanni del Tasso, presided over the Mass held at the site. His Excellency mentioned that the Prophet Elijah is dear to us and is noted in the scriptures as having lived in the land of Jordan and proclaimed the word of God from there. The ambassador conveyed Pope Francis's greeting to all the participants. For his part, Father Salam Haddad, the pastor of St. Elias Church in the town of Ohadne, expressed his pride in the return of the celebration of this feast after a hiatus of several years. He also highlighted the arrival of believers from various churches in Ajlon and the capital, Amman, to commemorate the Feast of St. Elias. In a spirit of reverence and under the patronage of His Grace Archbishop Hussam Naoum, Bishop of the Episcopal Arabic Evangelical Church in Jerusalem and the Near East, a service of thanksgiving and honor for the Church's servants was held at the Evangelical Episcopal Church of the Redeemer in Amman. This event marked the diamond jubilee of the laying of the Church's foundation stone. During the celebration, which was attended by several bishops, priests, Dr. Basim al -Sam'an, the regional director of Nursat TV Jordan and Palestine, and a large number of parishioners, Reverend Canon Fayyak Haddad, the pastor of the church, was granted the title of the Archdeacon by Archbishop Naoun. This occurred as the church celebrated its 75th anniversary in the capital, Amman. Archbishop Naoum expressed his gratitude to the Reverend Haddad and the entire parish for their service, praying that the Lord would guide Archdeacon Fayyak to bring glory to the Church and spread the Kingdom of God among all. The Maronite parish of St. Sherbel in Amman celebrated the Feast of St. Sherbel with a festive Mass presided over by His Excellency Bishop Musa al Hajj, the Bishop of Haifa, the Holy Land, and Jordan. The Mass was attended by the parish priest, Father Joseph Swede, as well as priests from various churches, several official and media figures, and a large congregation of faithful. 
Bishop al Hajj greeted all attendees who came to pray on this blessed feast, noting that every Christian has a spiritual connection with St. Sharbil. Father Sawed also delivered a speech expressing his gratitude to Bishop al Hajj for presiding over the celebration. During Bishop Musa's Hajj's visit to the kingdom, Nursad TV Jordan hosted him to discuss the security situation in the Holy Land and Gaza, the conditions of the Christians in the region, and other related topics. The 11th Annual Ecclesiastical Law Conference has commenced at the Dead Sea. The conference, organized by the Ecclesiastical Court of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem, Amman and Nazareth, features a session for judges of Catholic ecclesiastical courts in the Arab world. The opening session was attended by the Dean of the Vatican's Courts of Appeals and several members of the Roman Rota, as well as bishops and judges from Catholic ecclesiastical courts in Jordan, Palestine, Egypt, Lebanon, Syria and Iraq. Specialists in ecclesiastical law and several parish priests were also present. Following the completion of the judges' training course, the conference will proceed with a session on ecclesiastical law for lawyers, which includes a workshop for psychologists and social workers, an aspect that distinguishes this year's conference. Under the patronage of Father Jihad Shwehat, acting patriarchal vicar for the Latins in Jordan, Caritas Jordan inaugurated the House of Music in the Jabal al Waybdi area of Amman. This project is one of the artistic initiatives aimed at promoting musical culture within the local community. In line with these principles, Caritas, in collaboration with the Spring of Love Choir and the Tariq al Jundi Academy of Arabic Music, has been involved in training and developing high quality church choirs to contribute to the creation of a musically aware civil society. The opening ceremony was attended by Father Simon Hjazin, the pastor of the Latin Church of the Annunciation in Jabal al Waybde, and the team from the Mental Health Unit. The Papal Nuncio to Jordan, Bishop Giovanni del Tasso, delivered humanitarian aid, including medication and medical equipment, to the Hashmai Charitable Organization. This aid, received by the Organizational Secretary General, Dr. Hussein Shibli, underscores the Catholic Church's commitment to continue its support for our brothers and sisters in Gaza Strip. The people there are facing challenges due to the ongoing wars and are in urgent need of assistance and basic necessities. Under the blessing of His Excellency Bishop Christophorus, Bishop of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, the fourth series of workshops from the Riyada program, organized by Dylaeus's house, has commenced. The program aims to develop Sunday school servants to nurture the souls of the children and instill in spiritual and faith-based values in them. The program, which will continue until March of next year, involves 60 servants from various parishes across the kingdom. The first workshop focused on the spiritual aspects of responsible leadership presented by Deacon Chrysantos. Additionally, two workshops on games and songs were conducted by Sister Ru'a Qaqish, and the third workshop on planning was led by Mrs. Nihal Akrush. As part of the Latin Patriarchate Seminary mission to encourage young people to discern and respond to God's calling in their lives, the seminary, organized by Father Khaled Gammo, the vocations director in Jordan, conducted visits to parishes across the kingdom. There was a meeting in the town of Al Husun and two meetings in the villages of Al Waisiyah and Ismaikiyah. The sessions focused on topics related to the call to the sacred priesthood and how Christian youth can recognize God's voice in their daily lives. The meeting included religious and recreational activities for the youth, as well as discussion sessions between participants and students and priests from the seminary. The city of Torino, Italy, hosted a global gathering of members from the Marian Families Movement, attracting approximately 10,000 participants from around the world, including 22 representatives from Jordan. The meeting, themed in the spirit of the Disciples of Amoas, featured various segments where each country showcased its heritage and cultural values. The Jordanian team played a significant role in reflecting the Arab civilization and Jordanian culture, contributing to the promotion of tourism in the kingdom. The gathering concluded with a goal of enhancing understanding among families from different cultures, exchanging experiences and fostering cooperation to build communities that enjoy societal peace. The Marian Families Movement is known for its spiritual and ecclesiastical activities that uphold evangelical principles within the framework of the Christian family. For the first time since the war in Gaza, around 150 students have resumed their education at the Latin Parish of the Holy Family. Father Romanelli, the parish priest, stated that there are no official curricula to follow, but the aim is to help the youth direct their mental energy towards constructive activities, so they, they are prepared when regular schooling resumes after missing an entire year of education due to the ongoing conflict. Father Romanelli explained that the students are receiving religious and Christian education from 40 volunteer teachers. He also noted that young refugees from the neighborhood parish of St. Porphyrius are participating in the school's activities. 
The President and members of the Chaldean Synod expressed their deep concern regarding the international transformations, conflicts and wars affecting the Arab region, particularly the Holy Land. During their meeting at the Patriarchal Residence in Baghdad, the bishops condemned all forms of violence and called on the international community to protect peace and take appropriate actions to bring an immediate end to the war in Gaza. Regarding Christians in the region, the bishops renewed their call in a statement for bold and practical steps to support Christians in their land and identity and to enhance their role. British archaeologists have discovered the remains of an ancient Christian church in Bahrain, which is believed to be over 1300 years old. Researchers think that the building was once used as a palace of a local bishop containing a study and three living quarters. Among the findings are copper coins minted by the Sasanian Empire in the 7th and 8th century AD. Currently, further analysis of the other artifacts uncovered during the excavation is underway to help reveal more information about Christianity in Bahrain. This brings us to the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, making peace is the most beautiful thing in life. Cardinal Pizzabella, the situation in the Holy Land and Gaza is tragic due to the wars. The Papal Mission in Jordan celebrates the 75th anniversary of its establishment. The Catholic Church celebrates the Feast of St. Elias in Ajlon, Governorate. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching, wishing you a good time, and hope to see you again soon.